Hey folks, Randall Schwartz back again. I have over 160 ideas for this particular channel and I haven't been getting too many of them because I keep wanting it to be perfect when I do one of these videos. That is silly. Don't let the perfect be the enemy of the good. Also, Dart 3 is imminent and I'm going to want to do a lot of shows about that. So I've got to get some of these other 160 ideas out of the way. So this is a quick one, very quick. I just want to talk about something I was telling somebody the other day, uh, something that's in the collection package. The collection package is first party. It's actually being done by the Dart team. So it's not like you're going out to somebody that you don't know already. But let's say we have a list of things. And here I've got some lorem ipsum words just for the fun of it. And uh, I wanted to somehow have the index number associated with each of the names. So there's lots of ways of doing that, um, probably a dozen or so. But I want to show a few of the most common ones and then talk about the thing that I ultimately wanted to talk about, which is something that came from collection for this. So probably the typical way is, yeah, I create an empty uh, list. And then we use a, um, a for loop to loop around, uh, standard sort of for loop, three argument for loop, as they used to call them. We get the right word by indexing back into the list. And then we take that uh, list and add that onto the end of it. And of course, that will be uh, the proper value, zero lorem, one ipsum, and so on. That's probably the first way that a lot of people reach for I don't particularly like it because I don't like creating an empty thing and adding to it. That's kind of a knit with me. It's sort of like, why do you do that? Why do you start with an empty thing all the time? Why don't you just, you know, map it or something? And so let's go ahead and show one of those. So here's the second one, which is that we're going to take once again, uh, the lorem ipsum list. And then there's this cool trick that I learned pretty early on in my Dart experience, where we can take a list and turn it into a map. The map is nicely zero as the key, first element as the value, one as the key, second element as the value, and so on. So the key value pairs in the map are nicely lined up to be the things that we want to print out or look at together. Now, we call for the entries on that, and that returns back a list of, however, here we go, an interval of map entry, which is the int and the string, of course, the key and the value pair. So now we have a list, essentially, that we can run map on of key value pairs as single entities. Nice. So we shove that into entry here. That's now just a single map entry. And then we go through the function for that, which is we take out the key, and that becomes our index. We take out the value, that becomes our word. And once again, we turn that into a key value pair uh, string, well, a string that contains the, both of those values. Uh, it, we're getting back an iterable, so obviously it's to list at the end. That's a very frequent thing. It should be on a hot key for all of you, or uh, you should let Copilot type it for you like I did here, although you didn't see that. And again, perfectly valid, great way to do it. I did it this way a lot. But uh, again, it's a little verbose for me. But it turns out that we can do something very similar to that inside a collection uh, list, a, a list collection, um, literal list collection list thing. <laughs> there we go. Uh, well, oh, here it is. That's what I'm trying to get to, the collection four. So what we're doing is running a for loop, not a three parameter for loop like the first one was, but just a single parameter, which is that we do an entry in the list of entries. So again, we're taking the list, converting it to a list of entries that have zero, one, two, and three as keys. We get the entries from that, and now it's just like the one before. And then we are in the for loop then. So each one of those is going to be entry.key and entry.value. Boom. A little more compact, a lot, little bit more typing going along, but it works. It works nicely. So 
That runs, that's fine. Let's go ahead and introduce the thing I wanted to start by introducing, which is how to do that with the collection package. The collection package has a iterable extension called map indexed. So we take our iterable, our list, we run map indexed on it, and that is going to supply two elements for each iteration of the index 0, 1, 2, 3, and the appropriate word, lorem, ipsum, and so on. And so here, in a very compact notation, we are now turning <clears throat> the original list into a list of indexes, indices, something like that, and the original word to map that in. And again, it's coming back with an iterable at the end, so we've got to two list that. So let's go ahead and run this by pressing run here. Boom, we run it. And look at that, four outputs all looking exactly the same way, 0, 1, 2, 3, associated with the appropriate string. So there you go, and now you know. Nice short little demonstration. Hope you enjoyed that. Like and click on all the things. We're going to have a lot more stuff coming up soon about Dart 3, so subscribe now to make sure you get all of those pieces coming up.